When we try to avoid painful emotions, they turn into resentment, anger, obsessions, or depression. Guilt is the result of violating values. When consciously aware of guilt, it feels like regret and remorse. Much of the bad feeling we blame on others or try to avoid with drugs or compulsive behavior comes from unrecognized guilt. We experience shame as the result of perceived failure, defects, or inadequacy. We're rarely aware of shame because we expend so much energy avoiding it through deceit, anger, resentment, alcohol, drugs, or compulsive behavior. Those are all ways of avoiding shame. To transcend shame, how important is the perceived failure, defect, or inadequacy in the course of my lifetime? See, emotions amplify and magnify, so they're going to make it seem really important at the moment. But how important is it over the long haul? And of course, reevaluation means considering alternative strategies. See, because emotions amplify and magnify, they lock us into a conceptualization and make it difficult to reconceptualize. We have to try to consider alternative strategies because we're not likely to do it on autopilot. The brain often confuses low physical resources with failure and inadequacy. So when you're hungry, tired, or sleepy, it can seem, or sick, it can seem like failure or inadequacy. Feel the shame briefly when resentful, angry, anxious, depressed. Feeling it briefly disarms maladaptive defenses, making it easier to transcend. Shame takes a lifetime to avoid, but only moments to transcend. If someone you love is abusive, think compassionately and kindly, but never tolerate destructive behavior. In other words, you have this mental image of compassion and kindness toward the abusive person, but it's not compassionate to tolerate the behavior because abusive behavior is self-destructive.